The case shakes Hollywood. Kevin Spacey, the American star at the two Oscars, was due to appear in a London court on Thursday on charges of sexual assault, dating back to the period when he was artistic director of the theater in the British capital. Determined to vindicate his innocence, the star of the House of Cards series, whose career has been cut short by a series of accusations since the Weinstein affair, is expected from 10 a.m. at Westminster Magistrates Court. The Taiwanese army presents its largest domestically manufactured armored vehicle, the CM-34 Clouded Leopard. The all-weather combat vehicle is armed with a 30mm cannon with an effective firing range of 3 kilometers. Taiwan has undertaken to develop its own weapons program to strengthen its defense capability against China. The CM-34 production plant, located in the center of the island, which can produce six vehicles per month. Colombian justice ordered Wednesday the holding of a debate between the two presidential candidates of June 19th in Colombia. The opponents of the left, Gustavo Petro and the businessman Rodolfo Hernandez, while the latter refuses for weeks any debates with his rival. In a verdict published today, a court in Bogota ordered the two candidates to jointly program a major public media presidential debate. Clashes between protesters and police erupted as thousands of indigenous people flocked to Quito for the third consecutive day of protest against the Ecuadorian government. Protesters have been denouncing for three days the rise in fuel prices, but also the lack of jobs and the granting of mining concessions in indigenous territories. They demand the control of the prices of agricultural products and the renegotiation of the debts of the peasants with the banks. Protests have been erupting in many Indian cities to condemn the demolition of homes and businesses belonging to Muslims. In what critics call a growing pattern, bulldozer justice aimed at punishing activists from the minority group. The protests were sparked by derogatory remarks about Islam and the Prophet Muhammad made recently by two spokespeople of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party.